First, before you watch this video, I just want to preface that I barely slept through the night because I was so anxious about getting the call from our embryologist about how many embryos we had. I finally fell asleep really early in the morning. Just when I finally like had maybe like an hour or two of sleep, Travis came and woke me up right away with the doctor on the phone and this is where the video starts from there. I didn't take back that one. So I looked at your embryos this morning and as I was telling Travis, I have a bit of mixed news. Uh, uh, ho so, sorry, ho hold on just a second. The doctor is calling us, that's not good. What? The doctor is calling us, that's not good. Okay, um... Well, it's, it's on mute right now. Oh. Here, put that over there. Huh? Put that over there. Okay, I'm sorry. We're back. Go ahead. So right now, yeah. So so right now it's first thing on Saturday morning. So yeah. you think by there's a, another day or two before you guys have to freeze them? Or are they able to kind of hang out for? And the, the biopsy, that's the, that's sending it out to the uh, yeah, chromosome testing. Yeah, I don't know, it's for the genetics lab to, um, you know, we look at 20, they look at 24 chromosome, make sure you have um, the 23 pairs, make sure you have you know, the 22 all the pairs and the sex chromosomes, like the sex chromosomes, yeah. So, quick question then. So, if mm -hmm. we... So we're gonna. So we basically just have one, or we're gonna see by the end of the day if there's more than one, or by tomorrow. Because what I'm saying is, because what I'm looking at is, if there's only one, is there even a point to do the chromosome testing?
take a biopsy. Um, it, see, you guys are really young. So the chance, um, you know, 60% of the embryos in your age group come, come back normal. When we were expecting, I think when the whole cycle plan was put in and everything, we were expecting mm. that we would have a lot more embryos. You know, Shannon's, um, Shannon's market, everything, we were expecting more embryos at the uh, on day five, and that made sense to biopsy, so that way we eliminate. Well, yeah, we, th we, thought we'd have, we thought we'd have a lot <laughs> more of the biopsy. Yes, but with just one, the reason, main reason we were doing it is being able to select the best one for embryo transfer. But I feel like the best one has already selected itself out. Now, there is a slim, it is a good quality embryo, and you, are, you guys are young. So at, at you, there is a good chance that it is going to be a normal embryo. being on the younger side it wasn't it was more of our decision to do the chromosome testing it really wasn't even recommended by anyone or the doctors but um, so it, it, what are the other I mean it, just I know we kind of glance at some of the stuff but as far as the, is there a reason like why the other ones didn't make it I mean like that's I'm sorry, Shannon. I, I know this is really hard the thing with embryo development is I can't really tell you, I don't really have a reason, but the sperm looked good, the egg looked fine when I did the ICSI. I mean, the only indication I have really is just the fact that the, the response wasn't sort of what we expected. So maybe you need a more aggressive protocol, you need, you know, for us to have the completely you respond to medications differently what, than what we would expect. Well, because that was originally, yeah, we only had 12 eggs, but only seven of them were mature. And then, sure. yeah, which is, seems on the low end for her age. Um, so, maturity is kind of important. And so, seven mature, eight 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 mature, Yeah. 
Yeah, that's. I mean, we knew everything was going to drop off some, but yeah, out of the the six, we figured we'd be, have at least like three or four or something. Um, right. So, I, I, is the chromosome testing? Does that check for like other like possible genetic factors or? It, I mean, I, I just not so much. So yeah, um, you know, it doesn't test. So, for example, Down syndrome. Uh, you know, there is a possibility, and there's a couple of other chromosomal abnormalities, but most common is the 21, transomy 21, which is a Down syndrome. That the, the testing can pick up. Uh, but again, in the not, even if it is a Down syndrome embryo, trisomy two, it has an extra 21 chromosome. It's, um, you know, it may not, again, may not implant, it may, may miscarry uh, very early on, a very good chance. Two thirds of Down syndrome pregnancy actually miscarry on their own. But you may end up, that's the only, um, you may end up with sort of going to your, you know, can we go be doing the testing and realizing that it's a Down syndrome pregnancy and then it's a viable pregnancy, so at that point then you have some decisions to make. Okay, so at at this point, um, the ig a genomics or whatever they, are, yeah, they they they're not gonna charge like now that we've come out, kind of been left with one, they don't still charge us anyways if we haven't no, done no, anything, no. right? They only charge if I do the biopsy and send it off. Okay. They won't charge if we if I say that we're we've decided you know patients decided against the biopsy, they they don't charge anything. Okay, so what, at, at this point right now, with the fact that we have one, is do you and our age, with the, by the look you know, of it, do you do you even recommend we send that off for biopsy? I mean, it sounds like we don't. We because, didn't do it. Um, no, I mean we are not seeing an improved pregnancy rate in your age group. We're doing our PGS. Okay. We're not seeing an improved pregnancy rate. In older patients, it helps a lot. But in younger patients, you know, when, uh, like I said, about 60% of the embryos are normal. And it's, the percentage is even higher for good looking embryos, which is what we have, you know, here, the one with the embryo. So I feel like it has a good chance of being normal and implanting on its own. Um, there really is, you know, there's really no um, indication for biopsy. Now, if we had, like I said, three, four embryos, um, then we would do it, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, okay, so maybe we, or we're just gonna not do that then yeah. for now, yeah, okay. So, for, for right now, let's there's no point to send it out, so we'll just make sure yeah. that, that we don't do the biopsy. Okay, um, and there's like, and so no, I think that's a great decision. I mean, that is the right decision to make in this, this case, and that's why I wanted to call you before. Doing the biopsy, it just um, it makes no sense uh, to biopsy this one embryo. If it's a normal embryo, um, you know, if it's capable of leading to a viable pregnancy, it'll do that on its own. Yeah. What biopsy does is just gives us more information. Yeah, yeah. Either I mean, yeah, we were either we try to try to make it work or we we don't. That, that's like the decision. So the, the, yeah. So. so we're only okay. freezing one um, egg, right? Go ahead, Shannon. I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. I said so. We're um, so we're only freezing one egg. Great. No, I am. But I will call you again tomorrow, um, and then I'll let you know. Um, there is a possibility of one more, I think. But the, I really, the way they look today, I really wouldn't think that there would that would be more than that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, Shannon. It's okay. Uh, th thank you for the call and the information this morning and yeah just c call us um, tomorrow with whatever other information and we'll keep going from there okay thank you okay Bye. Bye. not quite the news that we expect <laughs> Come here. Come here. No, I 
I'm just like, I need to breathe. Okay. <laughs> Do you want this thing on still? So it's been a few hours now um, since what you guys saw just now and um, I haven't stopped crying <laughs> just like why I look like this um, but at least I put some clothes on for you right I'm just devastated guys like I think it's just we weren't expecting that at all um, and our doctors weren't either so to know out of like the six that we had that survived through day three that we only have one left is hard and for people that haven't gone through IVF maybe like they don't really understand uh, but just because we have one it doesn't mean that it will work <laughs> um, it just means I get one chance and I don't have like sense of security if for some reason that embryo doesn't work um, and we want to continue and do this over again which I don't even know if we're gonna do that or not um, it means I literally have to pay all over again the $25,000 I think it's actually more than that and not only that but I have to do more medication than I did this cycle or this like IVF round and I have to go through all the shots and everything all over again um, so it's just a lot emotionally and physically to go through um, but thankfully I have an amazing support system of my family my husband and my friends who have been so supportive and um and loving and just encouraging and like making me feel better <laughs> so if you're watching and you know that you're one of those people thank you i can't tell you how much it means to me and on top of that all of you guys i don't think you realize the impact that you guys like your comments have on our lives they mean more to us than you'll probably ever know so I I just want to say thank you for that I think like I got a lot of my crying I feel like I could cry at any second um, and Travis cried off camera we all show our emotions like differently it's just I look like um, maybe I died <laughs> and rose from the dead uh, I don't know guys my mom always tells me everything happens for a reason no matter how bad it is and to not worry because everything works out for the best in the end and my mom's usually 99.9% .9 of the time right about things so I'm just trying to stay positive and just remind myself that there's people out there that have it way worse than me and I just need to be grateful that I'm alive and that I do have family and that I have a good job and a car and a home and food and you know basically just being grateful for the things I do have and um, to not take those for granted and just focus on the positive and uh, that's all I can do so I have a meeting with the doctor at the end of the month to go over the transfer plan for that and we're going to hear from the doctor again tomorrow just to make sure that our one <laughs> our one special little baby um, survives it really only takes one uh, you know embryo so we'll see what happens we really wanted to put um two in not because we want to have twins but because we were worried that maybe like it won't work and so if one doesn't work maybe the other one will just like doubles your chances of getting pregnant and we didn't want to have to go through this again so if for some reason we did get pregnant with twins then we would be happy with that too and then we we would be done because we want two kids um at least right now I, I want more kids but Travis really only wants to anyways I'm just blabbing now but um that's basically it so yeah thanks for watching this video thank you for being so supportive if you have any kind encouraging words please feel free to leave them down below um if you're like a hater and you're watching this video and you decide to comment some shitty thing right now um I would think twice <laughs> normally I don't respond to my hate comments but right now you never know what kind of shit <laughs> I could can be going down in the comments. I hope that's not encouraging the haters, but I just like, you know, this is a hard thing to go through, period. Um, and I love sharing my life with you, but to be able to be, but to share something that I'm going through right now in this moment where I'm so vulnerable um, and then people are just so shitty towards me um, about stuff that 
is not easy for me so hopefully everybody's kind in the comments <laughs> um like i said thank you again so much for watching and following our ivf journey <sighs> pray for us cross your fingers whatever you do we need all the prayers we can get <laughs> thanks for watching i'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and i hope to see you in my next video